Chapter Seventeen: The British Rule and the Revolt of 1857. India was a very rich country from the ancient times. From very early times, India was famous for her spices, pearls, gold, and silk. The Greeks, the Romans, the Arabs, and many others came to India to trade. In 1498, Vasco da Gama, a Portuguese explorer, discovered a new sea route to India via the Cape of Good Hope. The Portuguese were the first to come to Calicut, now Kozhikode, and start trading in India. They built trade centers at Kochi, now Kochi, Kannur, now Kannur, and Calicut. Spices were the most important item of trade that the Portuguese dealt in. It was because they helped in preservation of meat in winter and made the food tastier. Trading of silk and gold were very valuable in the whole of Europe. Vasco da Gama, the Dutch, the French, and the English followed the Portuguese and established trade centers in India to control the trade in India and earn more profits. Traders soon started fighting among themselves. Queen Elizabeth I, 1558 to 1603, East India Company Stamp. The East India Companies. The traders organized themselves by setting up companies called East India Companies. The British East India Company was established in 1600. In 1583, Queen Elizabeth I dispatched a ship to the Indian subcontinent to explore the opportunities for trade. After 16 years, the ship sailed to India. The Queen granted trading rights to a group of London entrepreneurs. The British merchants. formed the British East India Company with permission from Queen Elizabeth I and founded its office in Calcutta later in Chennai this propelled the French to set up their own trading company and they established themselves in Chandanagor in Bengal and Pondicherry now Puducherry near Chennai they developed a rivalry between the British and the French as each country tried to establish new and larger colonies in India soon they started fighting against each other to get a bigger share of the trade for themselves finally the british defeated the others the battle of plassey 1757 gradually the british wanted to take control over some parts of india at first they wanted to bring bengal under their own control because they sensed the opportunity sirajuddin dullah the nawab of bengal declared war against the british the british led by robert clive attacked and put him to death this is how the battle of plassey took place in 1757 later on the battle of buxar took place in 1764 which saw the british emerging victorious again the british started maintaining an army in bengal and bengal came under the british rule british control through the east india company the british were benefited and started to strengthen their colonial rule they took advantage of the disunity among the indians they made different policies such as the subsidiary alliance and the doctrine of lapse and finally they become the rulers of most of india discontent among indians once the east india company established their hold over india they started exploiting the people india was a source of cheap raw materials for their factories in britain it also provided huge market for factory made goods which were produced in britain the indian farmers were forced to grow cash crops like indigo and cotton instead of producing food crops the east india company purchased cash crops at a very low price as a result the poor farmers grew even poorer and many farmers died of starvation indian merchants and traders also suffered because they were not allowed to open factories and mills also they were not permitted to trade in things of their choice the cheap british goods like factory made clothes were sold all over india this affected the lives of the indian artisans and craftsmen who used to weave cloth by hand in looms they could not compete with the prices of the british mill made clothes millions of weavers lost their jobs in the process the east india company also made new laws that helped them to take control of more and more areas in the country
textile mills in Britain in 1800s.